All right, everyone. Welcome back to another Axeman Finds video. Uh, had a brief little trip to Minneapolis, dropping a family member off at the airport. Um, and I snuck away in the meantime uh, to Axeman, and, well, this is what I picked up. First, let's start with this. This is a 1967 uh, Panasonic Solid State AM FM. Um, model RE... 726. Uh, Radio Museum says that this is 1970, question, question mark, question mark. But doing a little research, I found a Sam's photo, fo photo fact for it, uh, which had a, date, had a date, oh boy, of uh, 1967. We're going to be testing this in the video. Uh, so, yeah, let's get to that. However, before I get to testing, I'm going to do kind of the smart idea and open this up a little bit. All right, just opened it up. It's about what I'd expect. Um, big old school tuning condenser up there. Oh, looks good. One thing I noticed that there's no FM antenna output. That's kind of weird. Um, got our map for the wire. Dial cord. And then a schematic. There's some weird transistors. I do not recognize those. Uh, I've got a cranky looking electrolytic, but I think that should hold for testing purposes. And if not, then I guess it'll make this episode all more exciting. Won't it? Um, a nice Matsushita. Well, that's a resistor. That's interesting. Uh, that looks like one of those oil capacitors, but I guess not. But I just wanted to open this up, make sure nothing was already exploded. Uh, but, I mean, I, yeah, everything looks good. It's got one of those weird uh, diodes. It's kind of cool. Um, yeah, uh, I'll definitely probably recap this. I wouldn't be surprised if it just goes because of a filter capacitor or lack thereof a good one in it. Uh, but yeah, ooh, check it out. On this side, that's just a big heat sink for this uh, output transistor. One of those package styles, which I, I find really cool. I like those ones. Uh, but yeah, let's. I'm gonna put it all back together and let's test it out. All right. Got that on like the minimum voltage that it'll do. Oh, it works. Ish. It's at like 20 volts, but... Oh, well. I guess it just works. It needs to be recapped, because the tone is garbage. Yeah, that's a polka station. Only in Wisconsin. Ooh, wow. I don't recognize that station. That's an AM. Kansas City. And a battery manufacturing facility in Georgia. And eight others injured. Police detaining two people in connection with the shooting. President Biden finishing his... Well, this is looking very good. I give this one an A because... I mean, it's not in perfect working condition, but I was it did much better than I was expecting. I was totally expecting filter hum coming out of it. So, we can do a video on that. That's That'll be a fun, easy, little, no-risk repair. Um, yeah. 
All right, let's move on to this. Okay, this is actually really cool. Um, and not really my forte, but I'm gonna give it a shot here. This is a 1999, uh, well, motherboard that I got for six bucks in a pile of motherboards. It has a Pentium 3. Pentium 3. Uh, which came out in 99, and this is like one of the first Pentium 3s because all the chips in here are dated 98. Um, well, not all of them, but there is, the only ones that are from 99 um, are like 9901, 9902, first or second week. Uh, we've got one chip from, looks like 94. Um... And yeah, this will be fun. I plan to make a cool computer out of this. Came with the RAM too. We have a Hyundai stick there and some other brand here. I'm not sure what the capacity of it is, but I could probably figure that out pretty easily. Uh, but yeah, this is this is also going to make a very fun project, and I am definitely looking forward to playing with this. This isn't really my thing, as you guys know, but I have a power supply for this already. I have a dial-up modem. Um, a sound card, uh, and a joystick card for this. Um, and all I need now is a graphics card, but it sounds like a friend of mine has one of those that I could borrow um, if it works, and just getting one on my own won't be too hard. Um, I've got two USB ports, probably 1.0, um, and two uh, PS2 ports for keyboard and mouse. Yeah, I don't have any computers of this era, um, so this will be kind of a fun little thing to tinker around on for sure. Uh, and I can't wait to see what I can do with it. Um, of course, when I get a hard drive, or I have to get a hard drive or floppy drive or some kind of storage device for it, I might be able to use that uh, USB port or something. Um, it's got ports for floppy and secondary IDE slots. Um... All around just kind of a fun little thing to play with, and I can't wait to see what it can do. I'm going to have to replace that. It looks kind of weathered, but luckily not corroded. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching this kind of quick little edition of Axeman Finds. Uh, we've got some cool things that should show up in future videos when I get the time to work on them, and like I said, thank you for watching.